Be still and know that he is God. Psalm 46, 10. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. We're gonna be taking my nails from this to this. Starting off with the Onyx Professional Soak Off Acetone. I use the Maximum Strength Coconut Scent, cotton balls, nail clips, and all of my nail tools. Nail drill, nail file, cuticle remover, cuticle nippers, etc., etc. Okay, so from here I'm taking off the nail clips with the buds. I'm scraping away using the dual-sided gel remover tool from Ruby Smith. Um, all of my nail tools are from Ruby Smith. And if you leave the acetone cotton ball combo with the nail clip on long enough, everything should come off in one piece like this. It's super easy to remove and be super gentle to your natural nail plates without um, having excess damage that's not necessary if you take the time to soak the cotton ball properly with the acetone and making sure that you leave it on long enough um, to remove the gel. Then I take what's left on the cotton ball itself with the acetone and just continuously rub the nail plate to remove any excess um, glue or gel that's still on my nail plate. And there you go, that's completely clean. I do that a few times um, across all of my fingers just to make sure everything is clean and ready for the next step, which is taking a small uh, four-way nail buffer to buff out any ridges, any dents, any splits, anything possible that could have had damage from removing my gel manicure. Um, these were extensions, uh, press-on tips from Una Gela. I absolutely love them because they stay on for my full two to even four weeks without having any breakage, without having any um, chips or dents or even just lifting of my press-ons basically. I call them press-ons for adults because they're made out of soft gel and they're just absolutely amazing. I love them so much. So I basically take the pink side, which buffs out any ridges off of my nail. I even make sure to get the line, like the demarcation line from where the cuticle had grown out um, to make sure everything is smooth as possible. You don't wanna go too heavy handed with this step. So many people end up damaging their nail plate because they over buff. Um, same thing with the salons, hence the reason why I do everything myself. Then I take my rubbing alcohol on a uh, lint-free cotton pad and I go ahead and wipe my nails clean. I make sure to do this just to keep everything sanitized as much as possible in between these steps because you just never want to have any gunk being trapped on your nail at all. So then I go in with my crystal glass nail file and I trim up the edges, especially if I've broken any of my nails or any of them, I accidentally clip them off with the um, clippers when removing the excess gel tip length. I go in with my crystal glass and smooth everything out and re-round out the shape and fix the shape if I happen to grow out my nails, which a lot of the times is kind of what happens. I use the press-ons as a way to basically grow out my natural nails because my natural nails are thin on the weaker side and brittle. But when I grow them out, it's a lot easier to enjoy both the press-ons and my natural nail length um, after wearing a set, but I wanna make sure that I am giving my nails a proper a proper break, excuse me, in between manicured sessions. So I basically continue this until I am completely satisfied and happy. I make sure that all the edges are rounded out so that there's no snags um, because my nails tend to split right where my free edge starts, which is the white part. The nail bed is the pink part of your nail and the free edge is the white part in case you are new to doing your own nails. Um, and I don't really have an apex because my nails are flat and the apex is what provides structure to your nails the longer that they grow out. So it is very necessary if you want to have long and healthy nails that you create an apex, um, especially on flat nails if you do have a strong apex. Then we're gonna go in with my Blue Cross cuticle uh, remover polish or gel cream whatever you want to call it it's basically just a cuticle remover it takes off any excess dry skin as well so I pretty much put this over my entire nail around the entire edge not just the cuticle area um, but on basically the entire nail area just to make sure that I can remove any excess dead skin um, my nails tend to have very thick cuticle that grows on the plate itself next to the cuticle. Um, it's the strongest, most stickiest tissue on the nail plate that can form. So making sure that you have a good like amount of the remover is necessary for making sure that your next gel manicure application or even just regular polish goes on as smoothly as possible. Then I take my Ruby Smith cuticle pusher. This has a dual sided scraper underneath as well to scrape off any excess or around the nail plate itself. And I go ahead and gently start pushing my cuticles back. 
And as you can see, I have a lot of built up dead tissue. I only show this for people who actually enjoy seeing the gunk come off. I am not really a fan when it comes to this part, like watching this on other people. Like for me, myself, it's fine. But watching this part for like other nail tutorials, it always just like, <laughs> you know, just it's just a, it's just the gross part for me. Um, so I basically do that to all of my fingers, scrape off the gunk, wipe it clean and go from there um, just to make sure. And I am being very gentle too, by the way, because you do not want to damage your nail matrix, which is actually the part that is right behind your um, epinicium, which is the actual part of your cuticle that you end up removing. Like it's the, it's the, there's so many just different nail uh, terms, um, but basically you wanna make sure that you're not pressing too hard on your nail plate so you don't damage your nail matrix because you will have um, other things that kind of pop up like extreme nail ridges, the super like uh, waves that happen in the nail because you're pressing too hard or you're being too aggressive on your actual nails and your nail plate doesn't like that. So make sure that you're being gentle with it. Now I'm going in with the Rui Smith tool, uh, nail nippers. Um, this is a step also that people kind of cringe by because they're like, what if I cut myself? Well, you need to make sure that you're being extremely gentle and take your time doing it. It doesn't have to be a rushed process. And all you're doing is nipping away any excess, um, skin that needs to come up from your cuticle that the remover itself did not remove from the nail plate. So this is actually like on the um, finger itself that's still part of the live tissue. So the part that is meant to be nipped away or taken away is gonna be whiter. And so you'll be able to easily tell and just take your time doing this so you don't accidentally nip and cut yourself. It is something that does take, you know, a little bit of practice. And if you don't wanna have to do it, you don't have to do it. This is uh, a step that I find that I enjoy because of the fact that um, my cuticles qu are quite thick and anytime I leave my dead tissue on, um, I end up getting hangnails. So it's just easier for me to remove it from my own manicures than to just leave it and just push my cuticles back. Now I go in with my cuticle oil. This is just a combination of like sweet almond oil, uh, just basically a carrier oil. You can mix up anything that you want, olive oil, uh, jojoba seed oil, any oil that you would like um, that you enjoy the smell of. So this happens to be sweet almond oil. And now I'm taking my besties, um, Calm and Cozy Whipped Body Butter Balm. This is from Willow Beauty. She is a faith-based vegan and cruelty-free makeup brand and skincare brand. Um, the skincare is coming a little bit later, but I am taking her handmade whipped body butter. It's got a lot of these delicious um, shea butter along with other um, carrier oils that are all organic and refined, uh, sorry, excuse me, cold pressed, not refined pressed. So it's got all of the natural goody like that your skin needs for hydration. So I go ahead and put that on my entire hand and then I go ahead and rub in the cuticle oil as well to make sure that my hands are fully hydrated and ready to go for my next manicure. And I make sure to take my time really massaging everything in. This is one of my favorite parts is just the finish final touches, making sure that my hands are well hydrated. And then that is pretty much it. That completes my fresh mani and I'm ready for the next gel manicure when I am ready. God bless your day. Hope you enjoyed. Bye. If you guys enjoyed my video, please like and subscribe and leave a comment. Love you guys.